thing about, about the drunk, you see, even, even with the drink, the mind never stops working. You get a fellow sitting on a bus, and opposite him is a rather snobbish type lady, and she looks across, she says, you're drunk. And he says, you're fat and ugly. <laughs> she said, you are drunk. He says, you're fat and ugly. She said, you are drunk. He said, I'll be sober in the morning. <laughs> I don't go out anymore. I have a baby now, so I don't go out. Some of you have babies, but you don't love them, so you're here. That's cool. <laughs> no, I mostly just go out with my daughter. I went uh, to the park with her the other day. I was at this park in uh, New York City Park, and they had these no drinking signs in the park. And it, but it doesn't say no drinking. It has a picture of like a martini glass with a line through it. <laughs> Are those really the people causing the problems with the drinking in the parks? Are they reaching their target audience with a martini glass, really? Shouldn't it be like a bottle in a bag with a line through it? Do you see people at this park at four in the morning? Hey, motherfucker! I've stopped smoking weed. With black people, you didn't let me finish, motherfuckers. God damn. I'm sorry, black people, to, to break the news so publicly, but I can't smoke with you anymore. Every time I smoke weed with my black friends, all you talk about is your trials and tribulations. I'm sick of that shit. I got my own problems. Nigga, that's a waste of weed. I'm smoking weed to run away from my problems, not take on yours. From now on, I smoke weed exclusively with white people. Calm down, motherfuckers. You win by default. You got good weed conversation. All white people talk about when they get high is other times that they got high. <laughs> I can listen to that shit all night. Dude, remember at Frank's last week? It's fucking smashed, man. <laughs> and catalogs everything they drink. Two shots of Jaeger. Tequila. Four bong hits, man. Beer. Cheeseburger. That shit is great. Only bad part is you cannot pass out around white people. Every time white dudes pass out around each other, they always do some borderline gay shit when the guy's asleep. Frank fell asleep, so he like stuck a carrot in his ass and put shaving cream on his balls. Like, why, motherfucker? Why would you do that to a friend of yours? He trusted you enough to sleep around you. You gonna put a carrot in his ass? Is that, is that nice? I tell you right now, if I put a carrot in a black dude's ass, a nigga will kill you when he wakes up for some shit like that. That is an automatic death sentence on the street. It's a rap for you. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. I thought y'all was friends, baby. What happened? I, I, I fell asleep at his house, right? We was drinking, and I fell asleep at his house, and, and while I was sleeping, right? I'm just gonna kill that motherfucker, all right? That's all you need to know. And fuck carrots. Ladies, I'll tell you what I sound like. I don't like it when you guys get drunk as shit while your man is sober. I don't. You know why? Because we all get drunk, that's when you want to be nasty. But the nasty stuff that you want to do doesn't make any sense. It's stupid. Y'all all do the same type of shit, stay in that same dumbass drunk stance. Hey. Babe, come here. Come here. Hey, put your, put your dick on the counter. Let me suck your dick on the counter. Excuse me? Put your, put your dick on the counter. Let me suck your dick on the counter. <laughs> Bitch, we in 7-Eleven. I'm not about to put my dick on the goddamn counter at 7-Eleven. Get, get a bag of Doritos. Put Dorito on your dick. Let me suck the Dorito off your dick. What? Put, let me suck the Dorito off. You scared to let me suck that cheesy dick? Bitch. Pineapples, get in the car. I'm not gonna deal with this. Pineapples, suck a cheesy dick. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell is wrong with you? Women always want you to suck on their titty when they're drunk. You ever notice that? All the time. Hey, babe. Hey. They do that drunk ass hiccup. Hey. Come here. Come here. Suck my titty real quick. What? Suck, my, suck on my titty real quick. Bitch, I'm pumping gas. I can't suck your titty while I'm pumping gas. Put, 
Put some gas on my titty and suck the gas off my titty. All right, pineapple, she's just fucking stupid. So I can forget I did it, light a cigarette, blow my goddamn mouth off. Is that what you want? Stupid ass. I got pulled over for drunk driving once, but I wasn't drunk. I dropped my phone. Dropped my phone on the highway. Reached down to grab my phone, and I, you know, wiggled a little bit. Right. And I... It wasn't even reading my phone. It's just my phone was between my legs. Yeah. And it fell, and I thought it was going to get underneath my uh, Gas accelerator. Yeah. And they pulled me over, and they made me do all kinds of crazy shit. And I did it. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm doing all of it. I'm like, look at me. I'm sober. And then they wanted me to take a breathalyzer. I'm like, okay, why do you want me to take a breathalyzer? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to trust your equipment. You just got done doing all the tests. Yeah. Like, look, I'm doing, I'm on one foot. I'm fucking balancing. Yeah, yeah. What do you need me to do? I can, I can do it. Set up some cones. Like, what do you, do you want to know if I'm drunk? You know right. I'm not drunk. So why do you want me to blow in your bullshit? Like, what's going on here? And the cops, they, they agreed with me. They let me go. Right. I said, look, I'm a big supporter of police officers, big supporter of law enforcement. I donate. I do benefits whenever they come up. And I'm sober. And I'm sober. You know, it was another look at good one. Like, you know what the me. best ones? Like, all, all, most of my friends, we all got busted for drinking or driving. The best one was a buddy of mine. Uh, they read his, and it was like, you know, practically four in the morning, we noticed a maroon VW Fox blowing its horn, trying to pass on the right. We pulled the defendant over. Uh, after repeatedly asking the defendant to stay in the car, he got out of the car, threw his keys at my feet, and uh, repeatedly stated, lock me up, I'm fucked up. <laughs> 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 and this was funny was my buddy was a good looking guy and the the judge was a was a woman and when the guy read that you know lock me up i'm fucked up and he wasn't the brightest guy and he just kind of he went like Ugh. he like put his head down like that and he was you know a little pound puppy fucking looking dude and uh she uh she she gave him like a lighter sentence and because he was good looking i think so yeah i mean that all plays in that's why ugly people are complaining so much. Like, <laughs> they, they won't take the time to develop a fucking personality, write some jokes, <clears throat> do what the rest of us have to do. Like, I don't get mad at Brad Pitt. You know, how can he fucking, because he's fucking beautiful. I'm a fucking bald, red-headed male. I know where I am in the pecking order. And some of these fucking people who are complaining right now who are mad that beautiful people get treated differently. I understand racially speaking, but you're not going to do the beautiful thing. And then, then that's another thing they try to say. Well, society tries to, you know, they're the ones that fucking, did, like, you know, like I love when like there's a supermodel, like this is like an impossible standard of beauty to try and live up to. Yeah. 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 That's why she's on the cover of a magazine. She's that level beautiful. And you're going to try and sit there and tell me that that was learned. I don't drink myself, you know, it's not because I'm no big guy, I'm just afraid, you know, I fear everything, you know, and uh, so I, I, I'm afraid to and stuff, but um, I used to, and now I don't drink, and when you're with people that drink, it doesn't, it doesn't work out, that's why that designated driver thing, I don't think ever worked out, I see ads for it again, like I think they're trying to resurrect that idea, but it's kind of a flawed notion, you know, it's like, hey, Bill, listen, we were wondering if you'd come out with us. Here's the idea. <laughs> we want to go out and drink. And then we were hoping you'd come with us and not drink. <laughs> How's that sound to you? <laughs> we're going to go to a bunch of different bars and drink, and then you come with us and not drink. <laughs> also, we're not going to be driving. You're going to pick us up at our different houses <laughs> Go to a bunch of bars, not drink while we drink, and then drive us all home. How's that sound to you? How's, how's that catch you? I was like, I don't know. What's the catch? It sounds too good. For some sort of... But I don't drink, and if you don't drink, I'll tell you something, bars are not a lot of fun because, you know... When you think about it, fucking all, you know, all it is is you're just sitting at a big oak table for four hours. That's not, that's not fun unless you're drunk. And then everybody else be drinking, you know what I mean? So their fun is going up and up and up, you know? It's rising, their fun. 
is escalating while your fun is staying exactly the same. <laughs> and then by the end of the night, you don't even know what the fuck they're laughing about. Just everybody's laughing. And then they start resenting you for it. I've seen that, man. Uh, drunk people do not want a not drunk guy there. I know that, I've been there so many times. It always ends the same. Guy comes up to you and goes, hey, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Cheer up. <laughs> ah. <laughs> then you're like, oh no, I'm having a good time too. <laughs> Don't take a wild swing at Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand. Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand. From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups. Our planet is drowning, it's time to wake up. Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste. But where does it go? It's not a race. To the landfill, a mountain of despair. But we can change course, show that we care. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand I mean, when I'm not looking <laughs> I'll be driving you home later This is a lot of fun <laughs> Worst thing about not drinking is, uh is the sex because if you're drinking you can meet a girl she'd be drunk and then that very night you can have sex with her call a one night stand now if you're not drinking i don't know if you've ever had a one night stand dead clean sober <laughs> but i have and it's not a lot of fun <laughs> you get back to your environment you're like all right i guess i'll take my trousers off now ma'am and no, I won't. Sorry about that. Well, goodbye. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. I don't know what I was thinking. We're human beings. Once again, I apologize for the trousers incident. <laughs> Very nice to meet you.